Hey guys, John with Hops and Brews, and I know I'm not going to be the first one to review this beer, and I know I'm probably not going to be the last, but I'm going to be the best. So today we're going to be doing a classic, New Glorious's Spotted Cow. Now, if you drink craft beer, you probably know what this is. If you don't, you probably still know what this is because, well, it's been around. So there's no need for me to do an intro or anything special about it. So let's just get on with it. This beer comes in at a 4.8% ABV, a 18 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.89. Cask conditioned ale has been the popular choice among brews since long before prohibition. We continue this pioneer spirit with our Wisconsin Farmhouse Ale, brewed with flaked barley and the finest Wisconsin malts. We even give a nod to our farmers with a hint of corn. Naturally cloudy will allow the yeast to remain in the bottle to enhance fullness of flavor, which cannot be duplicated otherwise. Expect this ale to be fun, fruity, satisfying. You know you're in Wisconsin when you see the spot cow. All right, so let's take a look at spotted cow. No, actually, it's not as funky as a lot of farmhouses is, and it is cloudy, like it uh, kind of says. So, but nice white head, thick. And yeah, it's all right. It's very appealing looking. Nothing, nothing offensive, really. Oh, wow. Yeah, you actually do get this. It's a very, very subtle farmhouse funkiness at the back end. But there's like nothing overly offensive of it. Uh, if you've ever had a lot of farmhouses in your lifetime, they're either sour or just funky earthiness to it. You just never know what the yeast is going to get. That's essentially what farmhouse is, is you're just waving your spoon or something around the farmhouse and whatever yeast is there is what you get, you know? It doesn't have a light beer body. It's actually, I would almost say medium body. It's pretty decent. Um, it does have a light flavor to it. Honestly, I, I almost wish it just had like lemon zest to it. It'd be really awesome if they did this, say, with like a, a citra hop or something, like a variant of that. Ooh, I would like to see this. No, it is summer-esque. It is, it reminds me of grass, wheat grass, and, and like mowing the lawn and, and stuff like that's working outside. It really reminds me of that. Um, I, I kind of want a steak with this, even though I can't eat food right now. Um, but this is good. This is actually really good surprisingly that's I understand why it's as popular as it is there is there is something something there and it's it's light it's very light there I think I kind of want to equate it to like peanuts or peanut butter peanut shell something it's still very farmhouse-esque light in all of its characteristics but the body's actually again like I said it's not very light but it's not thick and it's it's extremely well balanced it's probably one of the best standard farmhouse ales I've ever had if I were ever to brew a farmhouse ale this is what I would want to go after but if I honestly in my opinion if I had this at a tap room and it said farmhouse ale I'd probably think it was a little weak if it wasn't for the backstory of this beer I would probably say it's a weak beer but because I know the story of this beer and how popular it is with its light complex flavor and low ABV, but still like decent body and everything, it's a very, very chuggable, drinkable beer. I understand the complexity about it. That's, that's an interesting take on drinking beer. If there's no story or following behind it, would I still consider this as good of a beer? Because most farmhouse ales that I have are like higher, like 6% or so, and then maybe have like a fruit twist 
And like the really good ones I like are like 8%, 9%. And those can still get a little funky. So they're like kind of more of a sour-esque. But then, yeah, they add fruit or something else like uh, oak finish to really complex it up. This just being under 5% really makes it feel like a farmhouse ale. And I'm really kind of surprised that there isn't as much malt. So this has probably got to be really light malt. I would uh, two row uh, oat and probably some wheat there too, mostly, to give it that body and dryness and not extra sweetness. So if you are looking for a fantastic farmhouse ale, my gosh, Wisconsin's New Glorious but my gosh, Wisconsin's Spotted Cow. That is a must have. Honestly, it is a bucket list beer. You gotta get it. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. Follow me as this whole month and possibly all of Lent, 46 days, that'll be up to Easter. I am not eating any solid food. I am only having beer and water and a cup of coffee in the morning. Black. And that is all I am having. Check out my social media stuff. You will see all the beers that I am drinking. That is uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything. You're going to find me everywhere. Just hops and brews. See you guys.